So Pigman here, man. Uh, so a lot of people have been asking me about my arrows, and uh, people say, well, they've, you've, they've had those before. No, they ain't. Uh, what I've done is I put the quality back in making a carbon arrow. I have, everybody knows, uh, Gold Tip makes some arrows in Mexico. Uh, most all the arrows that's solid come from Asia. So what I've done is I have found the master. So everybody will be trying to figure out who's making my arrows, but uh, if you if you think that you're shooting something that's all made in the USA, you're sadly mistaken. So now, with that being said, Demon Hunter arrow. So most uh, arrows that you see on the market now is what the guys would call a 166, which is what the small diameter is, which the OD is like a 240, 245 right in there. That's uh, some of the competition's arrows. This arrow is actually a 125 ID. So it's um, about a 213 and a half OD and a 350 spine and a, like a 208, something like that uh, in a 450 spine. So in this particular arrow, 350 spine is gonna be 9.15 and a 450 spine is gonna be 7.93 grains per inch. There's a lot of techno I'm trying to tell you. So this is a 40 ton carbon arrow. Uh, we found that anything higher than that makes it brittle and it wants to break. These have been tested in the center block walls with and without broadheads and with and without field tips. And uh, a buddy of mine is in Africa right now and he shot like 23 animals and uh, no breakage. So that's where we'll start with this. So the component, you've seen stuff like this before, but not to this level. So what we did is we did the carbon uh, in Asia, but we also imported, uh, believe it or not, back from the US back to Asia, 7075 aluminum. So you have a post that has a super thick collar on the end that is 7075. You have an outsert that is 7075. So basically what happens is I've done this for shops uh, because of the alignment. Most people, I can put outserts on and a lot of the shops can put an outsert on without a post. But you have to make sure that that's straight or you get wobble. Or guys pull them off, they don't know how to glue them, they pull them off in the target. So what I did is almost two inches long of 7075 hardened aluminum inside the shaft. And then you take that outsert and you basically, you're, you're threading it on. So the straightest part of the arrow is the internal part of the shaft. That's 125. So you put all that on. There are some people out there that make a, po a component like this. The whole package is 95 grains, not uh, 200 and some odd grains. Forget what you've ever heard about all that front of center. I, I mean, it works, but when you have an arrow that has a wall thickness that thick, if you can see it, solid carbon, 40 ton, 001 straight. We'll have some 003s. These are spine matched and weighted. Like the consistency of the spine on these is unbelievable. You would not believe it. So basically when you sandwich, you glue this internal, that keeps your outsert straight as a pin. Glue all that in. And then basically what you have, this is a finished arrow. Okay, that is AAE 26 hybrid veins. The arrow also will come with a collar on the back and an AAE pin knot. I found this is the most accurate combination. And somewhere here you will see also this is your pin knock adapter. 7075 American aluminum. Right into the back of the arrow. You put your, your collar on. You slip this on. I didn't have a collar handy. Uh, you slip that on, glue all that up, slip on your AAE pin knock. So my arrows fletched will come standard with the AAE hybrid vein and an AAE pin knock. I said that already. So basically what I want to show you is, is when you put all that together, that's what you get every time. Every single time it spins. So straight. And I have not pulled off or bro uh, pulled off an outsert or broken arrow yet. Uh, I shot a pig in Oklahoma at 35 yards with this exact broadhead, two and a half inch cut executioner. That's new steel that I've made. I've been doing this for six months. Arrows, sights, the focus though has been on broadheads and arrows. I'm telling you beyond the shadow of a doubt, I'm not Billy Mays in anything. I promise you for the money, 
nobody will sell you this arrow fletched with components for less than 350 to 400 dollars a dozen i'm gonna blow their mind i got the right guy i got the specs of the arrow right matt has already seen it in high speed video the power of this era at that diameter with that thickness what you have is no flex so the days of the proverbial red zone the 42 spined era they all snap right here so if you want the best air on the market look at the demon hunter line of airs i'll have them in a 125 uh, 0.125 id and i'll have them in a 0.166 id for you guys that like that little bigger arrow shaft but i'm telling you right now this is the wave of the future you will see people try to copy me but i put an outsert on this size arrow before anybody ever knew what it was 20 years ago so now it has come to fruition and there it is the best hunting era that god has ever made thank you lord for helping me and give me the knowledge to put this arrow together. Shoot it and you will see beyond the shadow of a doubt.